This is a $33.4 million two-storey penthouse perch at the top of Nouvelle 18 that comes with an internal lift, four bedrooms, a study and a roof terrace with your very own private lap pool. This home is likened to a bungalow in the sky. Novell 18 bears one of the most prestigious addresses in Singapore within the Atmore and Anderson Enclave. Developed by Singapore's top developer CDL and designed by eminent French architect John Novell, Novell 18 has all the qualities that makes it the cream in the luxury property segment. This project comprises two blocks of 36 storey towers with a total of 156 units. Come home to a dramatic large driveway lit by a linear strip of natural light. Facilities are spread out across seven levels and include pools, gourmet dining venues, gym, tennis court, a movie screening room and more. This home we are touring today spans 6,125 square feet and has $600,000 worth of renovations invested in it to create this stunning interior we see. Private lift doors open into the apartment and we step into this welcoming foyer that is dark and moody. At the back, we have some useful storage cabinets and in front of us, we have a concealed powder room. Studying the floor plan of this penthouse, we can see that privacy was a top consideration when planning the space with the living and dining areas on the left side of the house and the bedrooms tucked away at the back on the right side of the house. Just beside the private lift, we have the internal lift and the staircase which takes us up to the roof terrace which we will explore later. So let's start off with the living room area. So stepping into the living area, the space feels really bright and airy because of the windows that surround the space and the high ceiling of 4.6 meters, which is signature of luxury homes. And the best part of this is that the high ceiling is not counted into your square footage. And the thing that anchors this space would be this striking TV feature wall that runs from floor to ceiling with gorgeous contrasting gold vertical accents that accentuate the ceiling height. So large black marble slabs are being used and they have these beautiful white veins that run across creating a timeless design. And from the living room space, we flow into the dining area. And one thing I must add, the views from this penthouse is phenomenal. On my right, we have CBD, Marina Bay Sands, the Singapore Flyer and the Sea View. And on my left, we have lush green nature view of McRitchie. This dining space feels especially commodious because it can fit an eight-seater dining set like this. And we have a beautiful choice of crystal chandeliers that really complements this elegant space. Now the flooring and the bay window are all clad with high quality marble and we have this simple yet beautiful customised display shelf that sits on top of the bay window. There is a beautiful organic flow from the dining area to the dry kitchen area where you can prepare food for your guests on this gorgeous quartz island countertop. The space under this countertop has been fully optimised with cabinets and drawers and they come in seamless design with soft closing also have a wine chiller underneath the counter and to my back we have an impressive wine cellar and a two-door melee fridge. Now the interior design of this dry kitchen features cafe awnings which really give off a French bistro vibe. So a wide range of appliances are built in such as this melee coffee maker and melee steam oven and you've also got plenty of storage cabinets in the same seamless design. So let's head into the wet kitchen area. So the wet kitchen which is connected to the service area and the household shelter comes in a different colour palette, one that features more woody and natural tones. So you have all kinds of cooking equipment like your gas stove, induction stove and even a barbecue grill and they're all from Malay. So to my right, we have the household shelter and going deeper in, we'll find the service area where you have your washer, dryer, clothing rack and at the back, we have the back door to receive deliveries and a helper's bathroom. So next, we head into the balcony that's right beside the dining area. 
The size of this balcony is large and squarish, allowing you to even convert this place into an outdoor dining area. And being on the 36th floor, your view is literally unblocked. On top of that, this deck is well situated with a school and the Goodwood Hill Enclave right before us which are all low rise, featuring black and white houses and even more greenery. So this spot with this gorgeous unblocked nature view has got to be the reason why this is one of my favourite parts of the house. So let's head back in to check out the bedrooms. Now moving on to the bedrooms, all bedrooms come with attached bathroom and we'll start with the first common room. So this common room comes with ample wardrobe space that runs from the floor to the ceiling and it's linked to the bathroom which is clad in luxurious marble. This room is so well designed to not only look beautiful but also practical with a large desk that runs from wall to wall that can serve as both your study and your dressing table. And we have lots of comfy sitting area as well. So right outside the bedrooms, we have this beautifully designed study area. So let's head into the second common room. So stepping into the second common room, we have wardrobes on one side and a fun design of double-decker beds on the other. So because of the high ceiling, even the upper deck doesn't feel cramped but incredibly spacious. So a customised desk has also been done here that has sufficient space for two. So I love how they've also elongated the door frames for the bathrooms over here that really gives off a very lofty feel. So this bathroom is a Jack and Jill concept which is shared between the two adjoining common rooms. So coming through the shared bathroom, we enter into the third common room where you have a customised desk that's angled to face the unblocked green views of Nassim Hill. This room is ideal if you have plenty of clothes because you have a full wall of wardrobe right behind me. So from the third common room, we move into the master bedroom. So over here, we have a U-shaped wardrobe that kind of serves like a walk-in wardrobe area. And moving deeper in, we have the master bathroom. So the master bathroom is in a different colour palette from the common rooms. Here it features white marble that have sort of like a glittery appearance to it. It also features dual vanity sinks that come with this gorgeous herringbone wood panel that really draws your attention to the high ceiling. Now the size of this master bathroom is really luxurious so you have plenty of space here and it features a bathtub and a shower area with rain shower. So the sanitary wares here are all high quality from Duravit and Grower. So we see that a very modern concept has been incorporated for the bathroom. So where the bathtub is situated, you also have these glass panels. So if you prefer to soak in the bathtub after a long day and enjoy the gorgeous sky views, then you can also raise these blinds up. The interior design of this master bedroom is luxurious and plush. Right behind me, we see this gorgeous wall gold accents that run vertically and it looks especially good when used in a room with high ceilings like this. And at the corner, we have a dressing table. Right here, we have a customised sofa that is the perfect spot for you to sit back, relax and enjoy the unblocked green views of Nassim Hill. That wraps up our tour for the first floor. Now let's head up to the roof terrace where it's the most outstanding part of this penthouse. So here we are at the upper level of the penthouse. To my left, we have the pool area and on my right, through this corridor that's flushed with lots of natural light, we have the roof terrace. So let's start off with the pool area. This is what true luxury looks like because it's not a dipping pool but a 15 meter lap pool. And on this side, you have plenty of space where you can have a group of friends over to have a good time. So whether you're taking a swim or lying on the sun beds, you'll feel like you're on top of the world because you have a bird's eye view of the surroundings. And if you're not in the mood for a swim, you can always soak in the jet pool right at this corner. Here we have a bathroom and right now we're crossing over to the other side of the open roof terrace where you'll find an outdoor dining area and kitchen. So this space is perfect for entertaining your guests. You could have a chef over to prepare a barbecue or some cocktails over this counter. 
And this dining set fits 12 people and the view from this dining area is spectacular. You can take in the views of Singapore city skyline, Marina Bay Sands, the flyer and the sea view while dining. This is where you can also enjoy the gorgeous night sky. And to complete the space, we have a games area over here where you can enjoy a game of pool with friends with the scenic nature view as a backdrop. And that wraps up our tour at this ultra-luxurious penthouse at Novelle 18. Apart from this penthouse, there are other units ranging from 2 plus study to 4 plus study with a PSF of about $3,000. This makes it competitive in pricing compared to surrounding projects like Lenovo Artmore, which transacted at about $4,000 per square foot, Artmore Park, a 21 years old project, which transacted at about 3,200 PSF, the newly launched Park Nova, which transacted at about 5,000 PSF, and Eden, which hit about $6,023 per square foot. Living in this prestigious vicinity also means that you are just three minutes drive to Orchard Road and close to elite schools such as Anglo-Chinese School and Singapore Chinese Girls School. Information to purchase units at Novell 18 is all found in the description below. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.